Hello guys, in this video, let's discuss about service bus trigger. So, we will create a dispatch service. So, we will create Azure function that is service bus trigger. And when order detail is available in the queue, it will pick it up and it will dispatch it. Okay. Then, we will create a console app that is order service and it will send order detail to the queue. So, guys, we will create an instance of C sharp class that is order. So, we will serialize it and we will send it to the queue. Now, the order detail will look like this. So, it will have these properties order ID, product ID, customer name, amount, and address. Now, we are in Azure portal and I have opened this queue that is orders queue. And if you see, it shows queue 0. That means there are 0 messages in this queue. Now, we will create an Azure function that is service bus trigger and it will run whenever a message is available in this queue. So now we are in Visual Studio. Let's create our Azure function for service bus trigger. So create a new project. Azure functions. Let's give name dispatch service. Next. Now let's select service bus trigger from this drop down. So yeah, so service bus queue trigger. And our queue name will be let's go to the portal and queue name is orders queue because messages order details messages will be available in this queue. So let's copy it and let's paste it over here and create. So we have this function app that is service bus trigger ready. Now the first thing let's create connection string to connect to this queue that is orders queue. So for that let's go to the portal under settings under shared access policy we can find this primary connection string so let's copy it so let's open this local settings file now under that i will say hmm, connection strings i'll say service bus connection string let's paste it over here let's copy this key that is service bus connection string and let's paste it under this connection property okay now let's create our model that is order details so let's right click over here i'll say add folder so it's our models folder now let's add that class so add class I'll name it order detail dot cs and in the interest of the time I have already copied it in notepad so let's simply copy it let's simply paste it over here so this order detail is a plain simple c sharp class with properties order id product id customer name amount and address okay now let's copy this class name let's go to function one dot cs and I will remove this string from here and instead I will say order detail, order detail. And let's remove this line number 14. So guys, this function will be triggered whenever a service bus message is available in this queue that is orders queue. Okay. And here we are not writing any logic. We will simply add a debugger on this line number 15. I will say no logic written so basically we'll simply cross check the contents of order detail variable whenever a message is available in this queue that's it now let's run this function app so that it starts listening for message to arrive in this queue that is orders queue let's run so you see it's running and now it's listening for messages in service bus queue okay now we are again in visual studio and we have created this service that is order creation service so it's a console app and again we have this connection string queue name service bus client service bus sender so guys now you are well aware about this process or this part of the code okay now we have created an instance of order detail 
so we have serialized it and then we are simply sending this order detail in serialized format to the service bus queue okay so how to serialize this c sharp instance and send it to the service bus queue so we have again already covered in this tutorial in video number 8 so if required you can refer that okay now we have added a debugger on line number 32 so let's simply run this program now you see the debugger has been hit that means order details must be sent to the queue let's cross check so we'll go here see it shows q0 but if i refresh it see it shows q1 let me say pick from start and and if i open this see this is the order details exact order details which we send from our console app that is order order creation service okay and if you remember our function app that is service bus trigger is also running okay so as soon as the message arrived in this queue that also must have been triggered so let's check that so let's open this dispatch and see the debugger has already been hit and if i take my mouse to this order detail and if i expand this see we automatically retrieved the message from the service bus queue and now we have these details available in this order detail instance and if you observe guys one more thing uh, we retrieve the detail in json format but then this azure function behind the scenes converted or deserialized it and converted into an instance of order detail okay so that's it guys thank you